Good morning, Wheeler High School. This is your proud principal, David Giprani, and I'm here to talk about a number of um, items that we as a student body need to uh, work on here at Wheeler High School. I'd like to talk about tardies, cell phones, dress code, and the schedule throughout the day. To begin with, I'd like to talk about the beginning of the day. The first warning bell here at Wheeler High School is at 817. And basically, I want you to know that when that bell rings at 817, that means you should be in class, in front of your class, or making your way to class. We have too many students that like to spend time talking in groups, and they're eventually late. So please, at 817, that is your warning to be in class. At 820, when the bell rings, there should be nobody in the hallway. The Chick-fil-A biscuit sales will now be stopped at 817 to make sure there's no reason to be late. So again, 817, you should be going to class, in class. 820, everyone in the building should be in the class. Once the day starts in every class, the school rule has always been that no students are allowed out of class the first 15 minutes and the last 15 minutes. So again, there should be nobody in the hallways, even with the pass. Please, no one should be out of class the first 15 and the last 15. Throughout the day, as we change classes, again, when the warning bell rings, you should be near or in your class. We give you two minutes to get to class after the warning bell. I understand we have a big campus, so there's no time to stand and talk. Once that warning bell rings, again, you should be in class, making your way to class. When lunch begins, we have four lunches. We have some students that like to take their time to get to lunch. Again, it's just like any other time during the day. Once the bell rings to go to lunch, you need to go directly to lunch. When lunch time is over, we have in particular an issue at D lunch. Please do not stand and move to the exit areas before the bell rings. It's crowded and is sometimes very unsafe. Please wait till the bell rings to stand up and leave. When you stand up and leave, you need to take your trash to the trash can. Thankfully, many students do take their trash, but unfortunately, in particular outside, trash is left. And again, that's an eyesore on our school, and we all try to keep our school as clean as possible, so please take the trash to the trash can when you leave. Cell phones. Cell phones are not allowed in schools by school policy. I understand you bring them to school, you use them before and after school, but once the bell rings at 820, they should be turned off, they should be in your pockets, in your locker, they should not be out. That includes electronic devices that you wear in your ears. Uh, we are beginning to get a lot of referrals on this. People are losing instructional time. It's frustrating to teachers that you have them out. Again, there should not be an issue with cell phones. They should be turned off and in a secure location. Um, we are also having lots of um, issues with stolen cell phones. If the cell phones are put away and secure, there shouldn't be a problem with stolen cell phones. We don't have the manpower to do searches. We don't have the manpower to find phones. So what we're asking you to do is leave them at home or keep them secure during the day. It should not be an issue at Wheeler High School. Cell phones should not be an issue. I'm now going to ask Ms. Andrea Jenkins Mann to talk about dress code. Hi, my name is Andrea Jenkins Mann, and I need to talk to you about dress code and dress code violations more importantly. Um, the young ladies have been inappropriately dressed a lot, and there have been little infractions in an effort to try and get around what is specifically stated in the handbook. We feel like at this point, of course, that you know what it is that is appropriate and what is not appropriate, and that you are purposely not dressing appropriately. It takes too much time and effort away from instruction, which is why we're actually here, believe it or not, as this is an educational institution, um, to, to try and deal with dress code, with shorts and skirts that are too short, with hose above the knees, with pants that hang too low, revealing shorts and underwear, young ladies with razorback shirts and with um, shirts that show too much of your shoulders because they're not two inches in width. We, at this point, 
are not going to deal with it any longer because it's too much of a distraction and it's unnecessary. Mr. Shafrani spoke with you earlier about tardies. And so as a result of all of the infractions and all of the distractions that's, that it's been causing in our school, we're going to start doing what we call hall sweeps. As they are done, hall sweeps have their own set of consequences and disciplinary actions. When this happens, because this is your warning, when this happens, there will be no excuses. There will be no one who is excused. Be it your first time, your fifth time, or your 50th time, be it that no one has ever told you about that before or not, you will be treated as everyone else is. So our advice to you is to dress appropriately, to come to school, focus on learning and settling, settling in on your future. Hey, can I have a win on Friday with a side of school spirit? Absolutely. All right, I'll pull around. Hey! Let's go Wheeler! Go Wildcats! Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wildcat TV. We're your hosts, I'm Colin. And I'm Grace. So we had a football game on Friday against South Cobb. You guys looked good out there, you'll get them next time. And we have some clips, so go ahead and check them out. See you in a minute. Kane is in the building. <laughs> Hollywood code, I'm with Molly G, bro, bro, chicks to my Hollywood shows, and I wanna tell you something that you probably should know, this that slumdog millionaire Bollywood flow, and uh, my real friends never hear it from me, fake friends write the wrong answers on the mirror for me, that's why I pick and choose, I don't get confused, I got a small circle, I'm not with different crews, we walk the same path, but got on different shoes, live in the same building, but we got different Hey guys, welcome back to Shark Week. So we had a really great pep rally on Friday and we have some clips for it, so go ahead and check it out. Uh, uh it's not water. Water? Water. 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 Wait. Wait. Or anything. <laughs> Hands up! 
they stay there And they say yeah And they say there This Friday, we've got a football game versus Meadow Creek at home, 7.30, everybody be there. And then this Saturday at 6, we have the Senior Luau at Ward Mead Farms Pool. Seniors, all you guys come out, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be great, everybody be there. Uh, that's all we have for you on The View. I'm Barbara Walters. And I'm Whoopi Goldberg. We'll see you guys next week. Magnificent. I go by the name C. Diddy, Good Boy Records. Rakita. Lomsicle. Rockhound. Rockhound. Definitely Rockhound. Laminator. Well, on the bowling circuit, people like to call me Jay Smooth. <laughs> Lemonade. Kentucky. Oh. I'm Lucretia Jones. <laughs> yeah, Lucretia. And T Money, because I get to the money. <laughs> I'm Big Daddy One. Big Daddy Two. <laughs> Street name is Mud. Mudbone. Well, in, in my town, they like to call me Reduced Fat Vanilla. <laughs> I'm Hershey's with the almonds, you know what I'm saying? Because you know the ladies love chocolate. Shami, Shami. They call me Big D, Dolly Breezy, the Dragon King, aka taller than all your friends. My name is Young Zig, VT. Shouty Buck Shouty. Z Dub, all about the video games, baby. Yeah. Big T. Big Bodie Jody. MC Oreo, king of the Oreos. Small fry. It's ice cream. Uh, sweet wheat. And I'm Bo Queen Queen. Mm -hmm. Telly man. <laughs> oh, delicious. V Flow. Booty. <laughs> Shy, aka Mr. Harlem. My name is Chopper. This here is my G. Word. They call me Jay Breezy, baby. Ty Weezy. Jay Riddle. Junior B. Q Tip. Curly Top. My street name is Cookin' Lady. Jazzy Faye. A funny butt, because it rhymes with my last name, Honeycut. Vito, aka Young V, man. Young Vets, we here. Jimbo. B Kush. Real name, Nay Nay. Her real name is Dog. <laughs> you think I have one? Yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna believe it, but it's Popo. <laughs> hey Wheeler, it's Sophie and Steffi, two of your senior class officers, and we wanted to announce Senior Luau. It's gonna be next Saturday, September 11th at Warm Meat Farm, so we hope y'all can make it. It's from six to nine, there's gonna be food, and we're gonna play in the pool, so bring your swimsuit and a towel. We'll see you there. Oh, hello. Can I get a win on Friday with a side of school spirit? Huh? Sorry, can I have a win on Friday with a side of school spirit? <laughs>